Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, today I want to show you quickly how to connect this uh, IoT button to, uh, to AWS IoT. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the AWS IoT console and we're going to create a thing for that button. We're going to create a certificate, we're going to create a policy, and we're going to associate all three. And then we're going to set up the button itself. So first things first, let's create a button. So we're going to the registry, create a new button, and I've got a few already, so this is going to be number three for me. Um, in the console, you can also define uh, types for your things, which uh, which is pretty useful if you have different uh, different devices like me. I've got Raspberry Pis, Arduinos, etc. So I defined some uh, some different types to make it easier to to find all those devices. So this one is an IoT button, and I could also set some attributes, uh, but we're not going to do that right now. Okay, so let's just create that thing. Okay, so next uh, we need to uh, create a policy for that uh, for that device. So the policy itself is just an IAM policy, and it's going to tell us what are the APIs that are loaded and what are the resources that we can act on using the button. So let's go to the security consoles. Let's go to policies, and I've got some policies already. So let's see if we can reuse one of those, maybe. So yeah, this is pretty much what we want to do. So let me copy this and we're going to create a new policy. So let's call it IoT button three policy. And I'm going to go to advanced mode, right? Because I, I want to edit directly my policy here, but you could stay in the easy mode and just uh, enter the the statements. So um, actually there are only two statements here. Um, one is going to allow the button to publish to, uh, to a specific topic and actually the name of the topic is the serial number of the button. So you'll find it on the back. So let me type that one here. Okay, and the second statement allows the, the button to connect to the IoT gateway. We can just leave it like this, okay? So two APIs allowed, one for publishing to that topic and one for connection to the gateway, okay? Let's just create it. All right. Now we need to create a certificate for this device because as you know, um, you have to have a certificate and a, and a key pair to connect to the IoT gateway. So let's create a new one. Okay, the easiest way is just to create a certificate like this. Uh, we need to download these. Okay, we're going to upload them to the button later on and we need to activate the certificate, okay? Now, we've got everything we need, so we can go back to the certificate that we just created, and we're going to associate a thing, attach a thing to that certificate, so that, that is what really gives an identity to the button and we need to attach a policy to assign some uh, some permissions to that uh, identity okay all right and so now we have a new thing right uh, which is this one 
okay and it has it has a certificate and it has an IAM policy attached to it so um, now we should be able to actually configure that device okay and and start to send um, some MQTT messages back to the gateway so it's really easy to configure the IoT button what you have to do is uh, you just press the button for five seconds something like that okay just one long press until it starts blinking blue like this okay and what this does it it, it actually um, activates a, a new Wi-Fi network on the button so then you just have to go to your uh, Wi-Fi uh, setup here and you can see this button configure me network and the passwords are the last eight uh, characters of the uh, serial number okay so let me enter that and hopefully I will connect in a second okay and now I should be able to um, connect to this button right using that IP address 192.168.0.1 okay let's try that again okay that worked <laughs> um, and so I just um, need to enter the uh, the Wi-Fi parameters so what uh, what is the Wi-Fi network that this button is going to connect to um, to send messages so here I'm using my phone my access point on the phone it doesn't have a password which is a bad idea don't do this this is just for demo purposes uh, and then I need to upload the certificate that I just created and okay so that's the the file that says certificate uh, I need to upload the private key okay so again private key not public key don't get it wrong um, I need to enter the IOT um, endpoint and you'll find that one in the IOT console in the settings so that's just this part here right and the region and here I'm using EU West one okay click this click on configure and your device should be ready to use okay so let me go back to my network and so now if we push that button we should start sending some messages so how do we how do we see those messages happening um, so two two options here uh, you can go to the IoT console which provides a, a testing tool so you can subscribe to uh, to a topic okay so let's do this and the topic is going to be called IoT button slash the full serial number for the button okay um, that's about it just subscribe to the topic okay and now let's push buttons <laughs> and see what happens okay so uh, let's start with a, a single click it's gonna blink a few times and if you see the green line showing up it means the message has been sent okay so yes we get the green light okay and so I should see a message here yep all right let's do that again just press the button once okay wait for the green light and you see the message so the message gives you the serial number for the button the battery voltage and the click type so here it was just a, a short uh, press of the button so it's a single click so I can try a double click okay and I should see that different click type showing up okay double right and now I can do a long press so press for I don't know maybe two seconds 
and you see the green light again, and I see the long press. Okay, so this is how you can test it. So if you don't see those uh, those uh, events showing up, um, double check that the button is correctly connected to Wi-Fi. If you don't see the green light, probably means uh, you have a Wi-Fi problem. Um, and just make sure you uploaded the right certificate and the right key to the button, right? If you need to reconfigure it, that's easy. Just press the button again for five, six seconds, connect to the Wi-Fi network again, and just fix the, the configuration. But, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty idiot proof. I mean, if you can do it, you can do it too. Uh, another way to test would be to use a tool like uh, MQTTFX, for example. Um, so um, you have to create, uh, again, a certificate and a policy for that tool because it's going to be connected to the gateway. So in a way, it's, uh, it's seen as a device. Uh, and, uh, and once you've connected to the gateway, you can, uh, exactly in the same way, you can connect to, um, to the, the top. You can subscribe to the topic. So let's do that again quickly just to show you a different tool. Okay, so subscribe and just press the button. Okay, I like this tool because you know it's uh, um, it's you know a nice way just to do some testing. Uh, here it goes, double click, and um, and you know you can show some some demos and you don't have to 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 show the the console and and you can do some scripting as well and you can connect to multiple topics um, and so, yeah it's it's a nice little tool. MQTT, MQTT FX, I recommend it. Okay, so did that double click work? Yeah, it did. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. So um, as you can see, you can do this in five minutes. You can buy those on the Amazon uh, website. And then they're a good way to get started with, uh, with IoT. So um, the next step, obviously, would be to do something with these events. So, um, you know, I guess I have to now <laughs> to record a new video to show you how to uh, send those uh, events to a Lambda function, why not? And do some, uh, some useful stuff. But uh, that's it for now. I hope that was informative. And thanks for listening.